the tragic news of Kobe Bryant's passing didn't just shock the basketball world. It reverberated throughout every sport and every athlete worldwide. The nucleus of the grief, of course, was front and center in the NBA. There were eight games scheduled yesterday, and as word started to spread throughout locker rooms across the association, players had to deal with the shock and grief as well as get ready for their scheduled game. For Kyrie Irving, though, the news was too much. He was to make his first start at the Garden as a member of the Nets against the Knicks, but the loss of his very close friend and mentor, along with his daughter, was too much for him to bear. It is extremely understandable considering how close they were. The Garden was all class, as was the entire league yesterday. They knew what Kobe meant to the game when he played, and it was obvious what he meant to the next generation of stars, considering how emotional they were at the news of his passing. MSG was lit up in purple and gold as a tribute to the Lakers legend, and as the rest of the league did before them, the Nets and the Knicks both started the game paying tribute to Bryant, letting the 24 second clock expire on their first possessions. Chance of Kobe would rain down from the loyal garden faithful as the clock wound down. Eventually, the Nets and Knicks would play a game, but to quote Greg Popovich after his Spurs lost yesterday, good game, tough loss, who cares? The Knicks won, but in reality, everyone lost yesterday with the news of Bryant's passing. After the game, some of the Nets reflected on what Kobe meant to them and the game of basketball. I met Kobe several times, um, exchanged pleasantries and text messages and things, but, um, and, and, you know, maybe it's a little bit over exaggerating, but I felt like this was the first time he was, you know, looking at me as like, like the basketball player, Spencer, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, briefly told you guys how much he meant to, you know what I'm saying, all the people from, uh, you know, where I'm from. And, you know, for him to tell me that, you know, in, in his book, I'm all star and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Like that, uh, I talked about the popularity contest before and like, you know, you don't win things like that, you know, when, you, when you're me. So for him to say that, like, it, I didn't need to be selected, you know what I mean, anymore. Like, because it was, a, I was an all-star, you feel me? Like, it's not just like my family, you know, it was the guy. I think you look around the, the locker room, something that we, we talked about um, before the game, just how pretty much every player that's in the league right now, you know, Kobe is one of these guys where, you know, he's in a different echelon. You know, we all idolize him as a player. Um, you know, the respect that, that he had around this league, just in terms of being a competitor, um, his work ethic, you know, those things were, were stuff of a legend um, that every basketball player, um, everybody in this room, you know, aspired to be like. Uh, and I think that's why, you know, there's obviously such a profound impact across the league. You know, not only, you know, the accolades, everything that he did um, in this time of the league, but, you know, the amount of time that he put, I doubt that there's ever been a, a player that was as committed and dedicated as Kobe to this craft. I remember when he first got in the league, uh, I was like eight years old. I remember, you know, him going from not playing to being, you know, one of the greats, literally. Uh, and then, you know, really just focusing on his daughters afterwards. Um, you kind of see him grow up, turn into the man he, he was. Uh, so it means a, a great deal, man. It's a tough, tough day. It's iconic, you know. Then what else can you say? Like iconic, and and uh, um, all of us, I think, here, like the the uh, uh, you know, it's like the memories of him, uh, uh, you know, are, they're ingrained. You know, there's iconic is the best best word I can use. Mamba mentality was defined by Kobe Bryant as quote to be able to constantly try to be the best version of yourself. It's a constant quest to try to be better today than you were yesterday. Unfortunately for Bryant, his daughter Gigi, and all that were lost on that helicopter yesterday, there are no more todays to enjoy. If you wake up with breath in your lungs, make the most of it and be thankful you were blessed with another day. Kobe Bryant, gone too soon at the age of 41.